everybody. It's so nice to get to talk to you again, and I love that I got lots of emails from you after my last video. Let me talk about them. So Grayson and Dylan both emailed to say they watched the video and liked it, and Elna emailed, and she showed me a picture of herself and a cue that she made, and June sent pictures. Um, she wrote the letter Q, and she wrote her name, and um, she also did a show and tell video showing me a quilt at her house, and she did that with her sister Ruby. And Henry sent me a show and tell video. It was a book called Q is for Queen Bee. And he sent me a video of himself reading the Q words in a book. I think he read Without Question. And then Question starts with Q. He also sent me pictures of him playing in a sensory bin and showing me a Q bead and doing the rainbow riding with the letter Q. And he wrote his name and he wrote my name, Mrs. Awad. And um, I just can't wait to hear from everybody else and see your pictures and videos and find out what you're doing. And um, right now, I would like to pray with you because we always start our circles with prayer and that's the right way to start the day. And we have not been starting our videos with prayer, so let's do that right now. Wherever you are, you can fold your hands, close your eyes, bow your heads. Dear God, you are wonderful, you are awesome, you are good, and you love us. Thank you, God. Thank you for the people who are taking care of us right now. Thank you that we've had so many pretty days and lots of sunshine to play outside. Thank you that you're taking good care of us. Please keep everybody healthy and safe. In Jesus' name, amen. Okay. I wanted to show you the um, app I talked about yesterday. So here's the school iPad. I've got my phone in one hand and the iPad in the other. Here we go. Here's the school iPad. Oh, let me put this code in. Here it is. This is the Wet Dry Try app. It has all the letters. And we're going to do letter Q. Q. First watch me write the letter. Q starts at the top in the center. Magic C. Keep on going to the top. Little line slides down to the Oops. bottom. Now wet the letter with a sponge. Watch for the clue about where to start each stroke. There's the sponge at the top. So I take my finger and I start at the sponge and I go around and around and around and around and around and around and around up to the top. You are smart. And then I do the little line down. Oh yeah. Now dry the letter with the towel. Hey, there's a little paper towel. I go around, around and around. You got it right. Wonderful! Now try the letter with the chalk. Good. You are smart. Congratulations! You won another star. Pick and practice. Okay. So you can get that app and practice at home. You can practice all of the letters we've done so far. We have done a lot of them, and if you want to go ahead, that's okay too, because they'll make sure you do it the right way. So um, sometimes I worry that if kids keep going and write letters they haven't been taught to write yet, they'll get into bad habits. But Handwriting Without Tears is the best handwriting curriculum around. So if you use their app, you will be writing them the right way. Um, when we're talking about Q, let's not forget what sound Q makes. Q says qu. Q says qu. Every letter makes a sound. Q says qu. And um, Mrs. Lewin emailed me and told me that she can mail me our puppets and our letter people books. So next week, when we meet our new letter person, you'll actually get to see the puppet, I think. So that'll be nice. Um, and while we're talking about letter Q, 
I thought I would do a cue show and tell for you. So I asked you to go around your house to find show and tells. And I know that June and Henry did that. I hope lots of you did. And let me show you some of the things I found. I have a couple of these. Can you see them? They're money. But money starts with M. Mm, money. So I wonder if you know what kind of money this is. These are called quarters. They're called quarters and qu qu quarters starts with Q. I also have a couple of special blankets. It's the same thing that um, June showed me in her video. Special blankets made like this are called quilts. My mommy likes to make quilts, so she made this one for Evelyn's doll. My daughter Evelyn has a doll who uses that quilt. And my daughter Nadia has a doll who uses this quilt. Quilts are special blankets because they're made by taking lots of little pieces of fabric and sewing them together to make a pattern. These are both checker quilts. Some quilts have very complicated patterns on them. And when they sew together the pieces on one side, then they put some warm stuff in the middle and they put another piece of fabric on the back and then it's a nice warm blanket. And we have um, a lot of quilts in my house because my mommy like, likes to make them and so does one of her best friends. So we have those little ones that I thought would be easy to show you and some bigger ones too. Uh, I showed you the quarters, the quilts, and I think many of you will recognize this movie. I don't see any cues on the cover, but do you see her? She's Queen Elsa. Queen starts with Q. And I know when we have Q show and tell at school, kids often bring in dolls of Queen Elsa. So I wonder how many of you have a Queen Elsa doll at home and you could use that for your Q word. Queen starts with Q. Qua qua queen, qua qua quarters, qua qua quilt. Okay, so this week we've been talking about Q. We will meet a new letter person on Monday, but you know the big, wonderful, important holiday that's coming up is Easter. So I'm going to try to read you this Easter book. It's called The Story of Easter. It's hard for me to hold the book and do the video on my phone, but I will try. Here we go. You see the pictures? Remember that Bible stories are true the Bible is true, and this book is true. But when they made the book, somebody had to make up the pictures because they didn't have any pictures back when Jesus was around. So, it says, When Jesus was on earth, he healed the sick and taught people about God. So everywhere he went, men and women and boys and girls wanted to meet him. One day, he had to go to Jerusalem to celebrate a feast day. As he rode into town on a donkey, a crowd ran out to meet him. Some shouted, Blessed is the king, and they put their coats down in his path. Others waved palm branches and sang songs. The leaders were jealous. They did not like Jesus. Look how the people follow this man, they whispered. We must find a way to get rid of him. So, you can see that the man wearing blue and riding on the donkey is supposed to be Jesus. And you can see people waving branches for him. But do you also see those two grumpy men? They don't like how popular Jesus is. And they are powerful men. So they're trying to make a plan against Jesus. Let's see this page. That night, Jesus ate the Passover feast with his friends. He knew it would be the last meal they would eat together. He didn't want them to forget him. Did it say that same night? That's not right. Did I skip some? Hmm. Jesus came into Jerusalem on a Sunday, 
And this dinner he had was on Thursday. So it was the same week. Um, Jesus ate the Passover feast with his friends. He knew it would be the last meal they would eat together. He didn't want them to forget him. So when the food was passed around, he turned to them and said, When you eat bread and drink wine like this, remember me. Jesus knew the jealous leaders would take him away soon. He also knew someone sitting in the room would turn him in. Who is it, Lord? Asked John, and Jesus answered, The one I give bread to. And then he passed the loaf of bread to Judas. Judas whispered an excuse and left. So you see Jesus standing there. But look over here. Do you see sneaky Judas? He's making an excuse. He's whispering, and he's leaving. Judas was one of Jesus' friends, but he actually had a big part in getting, a, getting Jesus into trouble. He worked with the leaders. Let's see what happens next. After dinner, Jesus and some friends went to a garden. Jesus knew he would suffer and die, so he was very sad. I'm going to pray now, Jesus said. Please keep watch. And his friends said, yes, Lord. But then they fell asleep. You see them over here? They fell asleep. They're not keeping watch for Jesus. Jesus knelt and closed his eyes. Father, you can take away this cup of suffering that is to come. It's not a real cup, but Jesus is saying, God, you can stop the bad things that are going to happen. But what else does he say? Jesus says, but I will do whatever you want. And then Jesus' friends, sorry, and then Jesus got up and went back to his friends. Jesus did exactly what God wanted all the time. It's fantastic to think about. I try to do what Jesus wants and what God wants, but I mess up sometimes. Jesus never messed up. Here's the next page. Okay. Suddenly, a group of soldiers marched up to Jesus, and Judas, remember his friend who was at the dinner? Judas was with them. He ran over to Jesus, and he greeted him with a kiss. And that was the signal for the soldiers to arrest Jesus. And when they did, his friends left him and ran away. They got scared. They didn't want to get arrested, too. They're very confused. They thought Jesus was going to be the king, right? And we know that he is. But they were very confused when he got arrested because they thought maybe they'd been wrong about Jesus. They thought maybe he wasn't God's forever king. But we know that Jesus is God's forever king. Okay, here's the next page of the book. There's Jesus with the soldiers, and they took him here. They're a bunch of the leaders. Jesus was brought before the leaders. Some people told lies about him, but they had no proof. So the leaders could not charge him with anything wrong. Then they asked, you say that you are the son of God. Is that true? And Jesus answered, I am. This made the leaders angry. This man is guilty of a terrible offense. He said he's God's son when he is not, they shouted. And for this, he must be punished. But we know Jesus really is God's son. They just didn't believe in him. Let's see what's next. There's Jesus with the cross. The leaders decided Jesus must die on the cross. But first, he had to carry it a long way to a place called Calvary. There's the, the hill he has to climb. The cross was very heavy, and Jesus fell down three times. His friends could not do anything but look on and cry. They couldn't help him. Jesus died on that cross soon after. His friends took his body and buried it in a new tomb. That's just a word for a place to put a dead body. They rolled a big stone in front, but the leaders were still afraid. They remembered that Jesus said he would rise again in three days. So they gave order, an order for soldiers to guard the tomb day and night. You see the soldiers? They're making sure nobody's taking Jesus' body away. Here's an exciting page. Hooray for happy endings. Look at this. A few days later, some friends went to Jesus' tomb, and the big stone was rolled away. The soldiers aren't there anymore, but they were supposed to stay there. Let's see what happens. 
A few days later, some friends went to Jesus' tomb. The big stone was rolled away. It's empty, they shouted when they looked in. Then they saw an angel. Jesus is not here, he said. He is alive again. So they ran to tell the others. Jesus didn't stay dead because Jesus is God and he can do anything. And when he came back to life, he won. That's what we mean by when we say victory. He has victory over death. He won. So he doesn't have to stay dead. After Jesus rose from the dead, he visited his friends who were happy to see him. And before he left for heaven, he told them to spread the good news of God's love to everyone. Because Jesus died and rose again, he earned us a place in heaven. That is why we celebrate Easter. Did you know that's why? There are lots of things we do to celebrate that don't really have much to do with Jesus. If we're talking about bunnies and eggs, those are fun things. But we celebrate because Jesus came back to life. He's not dead anymore. Okay. So we just finished reading the story, but there are a couple of interesting pages here. Things to know about Easter. We celebrate Easter to remember what Jesus did for us and how much he loves us. Because Jesus gave his life for us and rose again, we can live again too. Easter comes on a Sunday in spring. Spring is the season when grass grows and flowers bloom and baby animals begin their new lives. When we believe in Jesus, we have a new life too. Okay, so that was the first book I wanted to read to you about Easter because it tells you the whole story. It's important to know that Jesus agreed with God and did what God wanted him to do. He went to that cross. He died to take the punishment for all the bad things all the people have done. But then he came back to life because he is bigger and greater and more powerful than anything, even death. And so we want to put our trust in Jesus. Okay, that was a long story and this is a long video, so I guess I will get going. But I will talk to you soon and I love you all very much. And I'm still going to work on that video with the book Benjamin's Box. I found a box I'm going to use. We're going to have the story of Benjamin's Box with all of the props, okay? I will talk to you soon. I love you. I miss you. Okay, bye-bye.